Michelle. We got started um, about a year ago after War on Waste. A couple of us watched that. Um, and on the, one of those episodes, I think episode two, it had showing a repair cafe in Sydney. And we saw that and we just emailed each other and said, oh, I think we could do that fairly easily in Heighton. We already had the men's shed and we had um, some sewing machines from the refugee program that we did. Um, so, yeah, then we, we just had a meeting and someone said, why not? <laughs> and, and from there we went to Geelong Sustainability um, and we said, hey, we're going to need some help. Is anyone else interested? And we had about 10 or 15 people put their hand up and we yes. thought, We've got enough helpers, let's just go for it. So it started, started quite quickly, within a, a month or two, really. It did. Yeah. It did. Yes. And in our first year, we've uh, mended over 250 items, over 500 kilo from landfill. This is our recycling bay. We can recycle batteries and toothpaste tubes and toothbrushes. Stamps and glasses go to Mission and we've got small e-waste and we've got light globes and, and other people might like to suggest something else they want to recycle. But we've set this up specifically. This is our St Luke's Environment Action Group and all to try and save stuff going to landfill. And there are places, this is, seems to be a grassroots movement that people are setting up recycling stations. Nothing's coming from the top down, it's coming from the bottom up. So we've yes. had people come in and bring items, bring some some jeans or something to be sewn and then said, oh, well, I've got some skill in leather work. Can I join in? Um, and then, yeah, we've even got some, some younger guys come in, so learning electrical skills. Um, so it's great to have the, the diversity of, of people and, and ages as well. The best part about it is people that come in with their broken items, they want to learn how to fix them. So we're passing on skills to you know, get people to fix their own things and learn that things are actually fixable. They don't have to end up in landfill. There is a social aspect to it as well. I mean, there's people who are on their own who come in because we serve tea and coffee and today we've got birthday cake. And so they can come in and just have a chat and be in a safe place. Yeah. Um, the plastic knob broke and split. We tried gluing it, but it wouldn't stay. So I went to Bunnings and bought a drawer knob and screwed that through and that mended it. So I've got my pot lid back again. A green, clean, sustainable Geelong. A sustainable hour. Be reduced. If it can't be reduced, reused, repaired. Reused, repaired.